This is Colin O'Keefe for LXBN TV, and today we are talking about the Affordable Care Act. My guest today is Caitlin Padula, staff attorney at the Sergeant Shriver National Center on Poverty Law, an author on their blog, The Shriver Brief, uh, where she's written an excellent series of posts on our subject today, the Affordable Care Act. Uh, starting off, Caitlin, there's, there's a lot of myths surrounding the Affordable Care Act. You know, mm -hmm. what do you think are, are some of the most damaging and, and inaccurate myths out there about the, uh, this act? Well, sometimes it's a little difficult to narrow it down to just a few, but we can try. Um, one of the big ones is that the ACA is a government takeover of health care, which is not true. The Affordable Care Act keeps the private insurance system, but it strengthens all the protections that American consumers get when they purchase private health insurance. For example, it makes it illegal for insurers to refuse to insure Americans who have pre-existing health conditions. Mm -hmm. It makes it illegal to charge different prices for men and women. And it does mandate a certain minimal level of coverage that all plans have to meet. And these are rules that all the insurers have to follow, but health care is still private. Mm -hmm. You may have heard that the insurance exchanges are somehow a government takeover of health care, and that's not true. They're a marketplace for private insurance, so consumers can go online and compare easily different insurance plans. I see. I see. Mm -hmm. And... And second, you've written a, a lot about this. You know, I can't talk about this enough. You write about the Affordable Care Act frequently, and, the, and they're excellent posts. Um, but you've written a lot about uh, the the Affordable Care Act and preventive, you know, preventative health care. You know, just how impactful is the Affordable Care Act when it comes to preventative health care? The Affordable Care Act is hugely, hugely important about preventative health care, and this is one of my favorite parts of the preventative of the Affordable Care Act. Um, one of the many ways that the Affordable Care Act is working to help individuals stay ahead of chronic illnesses already is requiring health insurers, including Medicare, to offer preventative health services free of co-pays. So people aren't putting off preventative services because they don't have the co-pay money right now. And this is so important for Americans because half of the people living in the U.S. have at least one chronic health condition, like heart disease, diabetes, obesity, cancer. These are things that affect everything. That's your beginning underlying condition, but everything else ties into that. Mm -hmm. Chronic health conditions account for 7 out of 10 deaths in America and 75% of our national health care spending. Wow. And this cost amounts to, for, ty for type 2 diabetes, heart disease, hypertension, and stroke, it's about two hundred and thirty-eight billion dollars every year. Wow. It's, yeah, it's, there's a lot there. <laughs> there's a lot there. So the Affordable Care Act, um, some of the services that they're providing free of copay are blood pressure screenings, cholesterol screenings, diet counseling, immunizations for children and adults, which is vital, mm -hmm. uh, breastfeeding support, which is wonderful for the health of children domestic violence screening, and contraceptives and contraceptive counseling. Mm -hmm. and, and finally, you know, just as you mentioned in there, there's been much controversy surrounding how birth control coverage fits into the Affordable Care Act. Uh, can you explain for those who don't know how this will work and why it's beneficial for Americans? Sure. Prescription birth control coverage not condoms right now or over the counter drugs will be covered for Americans with no copays or cost sharings beginning in August of this year. Uh, covering birth control allows women to space out their pregnancies and make choices about when they want to bear their children. And really, that just leads to healthier moms and healthier families. Mm -hmm. um, and American women also use contraceptives for reasons other than preventing pregnancy, like treating endometriosis and other, um, other women's issues. Uh, for the most part, your private insurance will be covering contraceptives. I see. I see. Well, you know, that was a great rundown of the Affordable Care Act just to get information out there for those who don't know. Once again, that was Caitlin Padula of the Shriver Center and their blog, The Shriver Brief. For more excellent commentary on the Affordable Care Act, be sure to check out Caitlin's series over there. It's at theshriverbrief.org. And, of course, for more on the Affordable Air Care Act, you can always check out lxbn.lexblog.com as well. Thank you, Caitlin. Thanks.